Hello guys, it's time for some more iMac goodness. Uh, I brought it home from the workshop today because we will try something. This is the 2011 iMac, which uh, doesn't show a video signal. So if you're not up to speed, we put in here an 870M and it doesn't uh, display a video signal. Now, a viewer of mine told me that on unflashed video cards, such as this one has right now, the diagnostic LED3 doesn't light up. So it only should light up once you have a V-Bias flashed. And so that got me thinking, it makes a bong, it, uh, you know, it spins the fans. This thing could actually be all right, just we don't know because it doesn't display anything. But thankfully there is a way to flash a video card without, um, without having to install Windows and that is uh, the Xenoron's uh, USB. And so I'm going to try that. I will put it on the network and access the iMac from SSH and see if, first of all, it shows even up. So that would indicate that it works um, if it shows up. And second, that I can maybe flash that V-Bias and have a boot switcher, boot screen, internet recovery, you know, all the good things. So I put out the SSD just to minimize problems, just that it doesn't... Um, uh, you know, try to boot from that. And I'll hop over to my PC and show you what the USB looks like. So this here is the USB and the contents, they look as follows. And here they are, pretty simple. The USB is only formatted as FAT32 and GPT so the Mac can recognize and boot from it. And those files are only dropped in here, so I'm following the guide from Xenderon, the creator who made this little USB drive. And um, here are all the interactions. So with a little luck, we should just put this on the network and we, we should be able to SSH into it. So also here is the flash utility that uh, we will hopefully use, plus uh, the 870M V-Bias. But anyway, we'll we'll get to that if it even boots up. So I'm really curious. So let's plug in the USB, fire up the Mac and just cross fingers. So it's plugged in. It's also on the network. So Ethernet is hooked up. And now let's press the power button. Makes the bong and it should spin up the fans crazy fast in a second. So now we wait a little bit. Um, it's taking around 20 seconds for the bootloader to kick in. And you know, booting up the Linux distro is also gonna take a little longer. So yeah, anyway, we'll give it around two to three minutes. And as you hear, the fans are going nuts because yeah, just how that is without a hard drive. Yeah, and then we'll hop up to my router's interface and hope that it shows up. Oh my God, look at that. There it is. GRML, that's a Linux distro. And here we have an IP, so the Mac is on the network. The Mac booted up. Oh my God. Does that mean that my motherboard is good? Well, it probably does look like that. So that's also the graphics card work. I don't know, we'll find out. So let's see if it, we can uh, SSH into it. So I'm really sorry about the super loud fan of the iMac, but it's just uh, the way it is right now. So we'll SSH into the iMac. So SSH root at 192.168. Dot, what is it? 178.73. All right, let's try it. So it does seem to have found it. So let's type yes here. The password is flash. And here we are, we are here in the iMac. Oh my God, pretty cool. Okay, we found lib, good. See what we got here. All right, so maybe this command is dash L doesn't exist in this distro. Anyway, uh, we are supposed to go to live mount medium. Uh, no matches for flash. Why is that? 
There is nothing in here, guys. Okay, that's weird. I mean, we are most definitely on the system, it's just that... <laughs> I can't find the files from the directory provided. Either I'm messing something up or that um, directory is somewhere else, which... Uh, uh, I don't know where that is. Well, never mind. I found it. It was in the persistence folder. So uh, here are indeed the files. So let me just list that. It actually does exist here. Um, so we have here GTX, which is the folder we need. And here is our NV flash utility. So if we go into GTX, you will see here is the mighty, mighty vbias file, the ROM file. So, um, before we get the flashing going, I will back up, of course, the original vbias that's on it, the original ROM. So I will run nv flash linux dash b and we'll call it 870m stock dot rom. Let's see if that works. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got the 870M here, so it has recognized it. Woo! Oh man, you can't believe how fucking happy I am right now. My graphic card works! It works! Okay, but it saved it. That's good. So now, now let's get into the nitty gritty here. Damn, am I hyped. OMG. Okay, the flashing process is as follows. We'll just run and we flash. Linux dash dash protect off and now it says uh, remove e from write protect complete so that will now allow us to write the new vbios on it all right and now the command that will hopefully hopefully do it all right you ready Man, I'm so hyped. I'm also a little scared, but what can happen? I've done it now three times. Okay. Let's run it. Reflash Linux dash six. That's the flashing command apparently on Linux. I've never done it on Linux, but that's what it is. In the folder GTX. And how is it called again? 870M Clevo and such. Alright. Only have to press enter now. Should I do it? You know what? Let's do it. Update the display adapter firmware. Press Y. Storing the updated image. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just do it. Please. Yes. So that is good. Firmware image has been updated from version so and so to this. Update successful and a reboot is required. So, all right. <laughs> Let's shut this thing down and try to hold down the option key and see if we have a signal on the monitor. All right, now I'm hyped. Let's remove our USB. I've already connected here this keyboard. And now let's see guys, if we hold down the option key, if this thing will show us something. All right, let's go. Man, there it is. There it is. OMG. Look at it. We have it. It's working. It works. Oh my God. Oh well, I'm really, really happy. This is it, guys. That was it. So thanks a lot. Man, I am so I feel so bad that I don't remember the name now, but you saved my ass. So that motherboard is going back. It's, it's okay, the seller takes it back. And as you can see, internet recovery. Yes, so um, what I will do now is put back the SSD in it and let it install the high Sierra and uh, then we can test it out and yeah, we'll see how it goes. So let me put that back in and get the installation going. 
Okay, we got the SSD plugged in. Yeah, I know it's far from perfect. I know, I know, guys. Don't don't judge me too much. Uh, the motherboard isn't even screwed in, but I don't even care. I just want to get an OS on it, and then we'll do the fine stuff, you know, fine tuning things. Finally, quiet down that damn fan. And I'm still not sure if I really gonna leave that thermal paste mess that I created on the graphics card. We'll see. Uh, I don't feel like putting it out again. We'll, we'll check the temps. I'll keep an eye on the temps and if it gets too hot, I'll do it, of course. But now the most important thing is to finally get an OS on it, finally get it working and maybe ready for Big Sur. So yeah, um, let me connect that cable, put the monitor back to its place and install the operating system. Hooray. <laughs> I like how it now recognizes Windows, but yeah, that isn't really necessary anymore. So yeah, I'm sorry, Windows, but you will have to be formatted now. Um, I'll have to boot it into internet recovery. And then I'll have to bear this noise for, I don't know how long, probably an hour or even two. Depends on my internet. And uh, yeah, then I can finally quiet it down with a fan control program. But that's something I'm really willing to to take on so let me get the internet recovery started hmm I don't know if that's a bad thing or not uh, please don't tell me that the graphics card has a problem man I don't want to go through the hassle of doing that all again but we'll just we'll just let it load and then check it out later hopefully it's okay well, uh, this we are not quite there yet. Um, I've now listened to this jet plane noise here for, wow, 45 minutes and the thing is still stuck on this, so I, I suppose it crashed. Um, I will not worry about it too much now because I think I can just create a USB, you know, and install it the old fashioned way with USB. And frankly, that's what I'm gonna try, but yeah, I, the computer seems to be okay, you know, it seems to be working, so I think the internet recovery just crashed and didn't like this upgrade or whatever, you know, it's Apple after all. So um, I will create a high Sierra USB and then try it again. So I have here this image of 1013, which shouldn't be too old. And I used the... Um, install macOS Python script to download it. You can download everything, like the latest, as you can see, 11.3 is here. It's so much easier than going through the hassle with this stupid app store, which never works. And yeah, I can definitely recommend it that. It just downloads the available images from Apple and puts it in this folder in this uh, DMG file. And you can just, as you can see, copy it to your applications. And it's just a lot more simple and not so stupid, so. Yeah, can recommend it is. All right, let's create that USB then. Yep, still no OS on it. And still no successful boot up into anything yet. And once again, we got those line things, which scare me a bit. Ah. Uh, that is really annoying, guys. Really annoying. I will just try to boot it up into this Windows disk I have in here. See if it boots up and if it gets into the Windows OS and uh, so we can maybe rule out that graphics card. But not liking what I'm seeing so far. <sighs> Why well, can never something work out? If this graphics card is really bad, I don't know what I'll do then, guys. Uh, I really don't, <laughs> but we'll see. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fuck! This is all I can say. 
God, no, come on. This is not good. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, it really, it really doesn't look all that great. Come on, give me a little bit better resolution, huh? Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, guys. This started off so well, but hey. Fail in the end. Well, that is none of my fault. That is a failed graphics card. Hooray! I'm not looking forward to deal with this AliExpress seller. Well, maybe I pushed my luck a little bit too far with this one. Um, but hey, this is how it goes sometimes. It could have been so nice. But oh no. Of course, this fucking graphics card has to be broken. Uh, this is just stupid. I now spent a fair amount of time troubleshooting it. I got it working. And I flashed it even. But it, it has a failure. And it is most definitely the graphics card at this point. Because, I mean, what else could it be? This is clear indication. Those artifacts. That's like a prime example of a failed graphics card. Well, I'm glad that it still somehow managed to boot into Windows so I can at least be sure that the rest of the computer is fine. So I don't know how we'll continue with this thing. I'm definitely going to try to send back the graphics card. Um, it's probably going to be a pain in the ass on AliExpress, but I'm going to give it a shot. I mean, it wasn't that cheap, so I don't know. I, I really don't feel like buying another card. I really don't at this point always it's such a process getting it installed and i mean the flashing went fine I, I could do the flashing again really fast that's not the problem it's just the whole work and the dealing with the with the with the hardware and waiting for the next card and uh just don't feel like doing it especially when i got the perfectly working one here why waste my time with this if you are already said hey it's time to sell parts and just re, you know, re recoup your losses or how it's called. I don't know, but um, it's probably smarter. I don't know. Uh, well, how it will continue? But the flashing worked, so I, I hope you can still take away something that uh, this graphics card uh, is broken. It's nothing I could have foreseen. Oh, what can I say? I'm really pissed off. So much work and all for nothing. And it was so promising. It, it was so promising at one point. And then the graphics card fails. I don't know. It's, I don't know. And I know this is going to come up like, oh, it failed because you don't have those adhesive strips. And no, guys, just just no. This was under no load at all. This This was only supposed to boot up a windows os or the mac installer that's the most load it had so so just to be clear there this this could impossibly have damaged it or killed it in any way yeah oh god damn it um yeah what can i say i'm annoyed will i continue this saga i don't know see you later